Hello everybody, I'm CJ and I'm back again for another video. So in today's video, we're gonna put our glasses on, get our notes out, and we're gonna learn a little bit of something because we're going back to school and we're gonna talk everything there is to know about chemical exfoliants, specifically those with acids. So chemical exfoliants come in three main types or classes. There are the AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids, BHAs or beta hydroxy acids, and the PHAs or the polyhydroxy acids. So with chemical exfoliants, we use them because unlike a physical exfoliant, they're able to go onto our face and digest or break down the concrete or the lipids that are holding the dead skin cells onto our face. So with alpha hydroxy acids, those are more effective generally for those people with mature or aging skin, so if you have fine lines and wrinkles, photo aging or sun damage, and hyperpigmentation, which are all kind of the same thing. So common acids that are alpha hydroxy acids are glycolic, of course, which is a smaller molecule that's able to penetrate a little deeper to give you a stronger exfoliation. There's lactic acid, which is derived from sour milk, that's a little bit more gentle than glycolic because it's a larger molecule, so it's going to be more of a shallow resurfacing agent that's also very good for dry dehydrated skin because it is a humectant, so it's going to plump and even out the wrinkles in your skin. I'm going to look at my notes, so if you're wondering what I'm looking up off screen, it's just my notes. So then there is mandelic acid, which reduces photoaging, acne, and pigmentation. There is malic acid, which is for resurfacing and boosting collagen production. Citric acid, which is a brightening agent that also reduces photoaging. Then there's tartaric acid, which is an antioxidant. Less commonly, there is phytic acid, which is kind of an all-in-one. It's a antioxidant, it's good for acne, it's a lightening agent, and is hyper effective for breaking down pigmentation or melanin on your face. And finally, there's kojic acid, which is produced or a byproduct of sake, and it will generally just even out your skin tone. AHAs also are water soluble, versus a BHA, which is oil soluble, there's only one, which is salicylic acid. So Everybody knows salicylic, or everybody who is quite familiar with salicylic knows that it is great for those with acne. The reason though it's great for us with acne, blackheads, whiteheads, is because it is oil sol soluble, which means that it can actually go through the oil and sebum that is on our face to get into our pores and actually clean out and remove all of that gunk, dead skin, oil, everything that we're experiencing on it during our breakouts. So salicylic acid is derived from the willow bark tree and all over Great One. It's in almost every kind of acne product, acne treatment. So it's really, really good for those of us also that experience rosacea because it's a antibacterial and an anti-inflammatory. So it's going to reduce the size of the bumps that you're experiencing and the redness. Finally, we have PHAs or polyhydroxy acids, which are now becoming a little more popular. You didn't see them as much at first. The fun thing about polyhydroxy acids are that they're quite similar to AHAs, but they have a larger molecule size. So like lactic acid, they're going to be more of a superficial exfoliation that causes less irritation because it's not going to be going in as deep or as intense. The three most notable polyhydroxy acids are lactobionic acid, which comes from milk sugar, it's an antioxidant and a soothing agent. There is galactose, which helps with collagen, collagen synthesis, cell migration, and it helps to enhance your wound healing. And then there is gluconic acid, which is an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory agent. So that one's quite similar to like salicylic. Now, the chemical exfoliants can basically be used in any step of your skincare routine. There's anything from cleansers to toners to moisturizers that will all have a different amount of acids, different concentration, or different uh, mixtures of all of the above. So some of my favorite that would go in your toner stage is Biologic Riche Riche. It's a stronger, more intense peel or exfoliation. It has multiple different types of the previously listed acids, so it's going to have 
work on a multiple different levels. Then there's like the Pixie Glow Peel Pads, the Dr. Get Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads, which also have numerous, numerous amounts of retinol and acid products. Then there are lighter ones like the Pixie Glow Tonic. There's the Cosrx Whitehead and Blackhead Power Essences. There are also masks that have beta hydroxy acids in them, like this one from Andalou. And then, or sorry, this is a moisturizer. And then there's masks like the Herbivore Blue Tansy Mask that have both AHA and BHAs. It's a gel that you put on your face and then rinse away. So every single part of your skincare routine can incorporate acids. It's really smart to think about using acids and different acids like you would your workout routine. You don't want to use the same product over and over because like your muscles, it will be used to and accustomed to that single product, so it will become less effective over time. So I personally will use a toner one day, then I might use a essence, acid essence the next day, or I'm going to mix in different acid type of products, just depending on what my skin needs, what it's feeling, and what I had previously used. Also, don't be afraid if you have sensitive skin, dry skin, any skin type can benefit from using acids. You just kind of want to look at which one will be best for your specific skin type, just like every other type of ingredient. So that's all for this video. Make sure you find me on Instagram, like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, and maybe find me on Facebook. Let me know if you like this video. I think these are a little more interesting. I know they're not as exciting, but sometimes it's nice to just get straight facts. So let me know what you think, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.